Hello, YouTube family. Sound cute not knowing. And now we're going to know. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. I got the girls. I got the scoop. Let's get this hug in. Short and sweet today. The weekend edition is up. So check it out. We've even added a new feature, Ask Auntie. So you can like ask me questions and I can talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. It's not cute not knowing. And now we're going to know the shocking news of Princess Kate. For everybody that just hounded that woman. Well, where is she? Why can't we see her? Battling cancer. Which is not easy. And she's relatively young. It's like 42, three kids. She's battling cancer and she's undergoing preventative chemo. She is taking cancer-fighting drugs that have brutal side effects. And if anyone has been through that cancer battle, it's not easy. They're saying it could be either ovarian or uterine cancer. Whatever stomach condition she was dealing with, when they went inside, they found something. And they had to act immediately. Anytime you get any kind of stuff to the stomach, it could be a C-section, it could be a tummy tuck. You just can't just bounce back up because those stomach muscles, it, it's different. But I remember saying, was it a couple of days ago? I'm like, why don't they leave that woman alone with all of this? Well, where is she? Where is she hiding? All of these crazy speculations. That British press is brutal. And I said, they're angry with her because they can't make no money. See, when she makes an appearance, they can make money. So because they, the palace has shut them off, they can't make no money off of her. Here you go with the rumors and everything else that could possibly be going on. It's cancer. She's going to need this time to heal, be with her family. But, gosh, just prayers to them. It's not, if That's not easy. A cancer battle is not easy. And the way she was hounded. And now we know why she has not been out. That's a very serious subject matter. Three young kids. She is the future queen of England. That's a lot she's got to wrap her head around. Her husband will be the king one day because his dad is battling prostate cancer. Prayers to the royal family and hope that she can overcome this. Don Lemon. He debuted the Don Lemon show this week. And he admitted that he had to take antidepressants when he was let go from CNN. In a recent sit-down with Tamron Hall, he talked about that period. Uh, right now, he's in a good space. They owed him over $24 million, and they had to give it to him. And now he has his own show three days a week, and you can check it out on YouTube. Michael Jackson's mother. Yesterday, I told you how Michael Jackson's youngest son, Blanket, BG, he's 22, told, went to the courts to say, um, can you tell the Michael Jackson state, stop giving her money? See, there's something deeper in this. She's fighting the fact that that estate sold off over $600 million. I think they sold it to Sony. She was not happy about that. She's protective of that money. Michael Jackson, he's been there for 15 years. They say she has already spent $55 million. You could be saying, oh, what? She takes care of all of those kids and the grandkids. They go to her for money. They go to her for money. What happens when the gravy train ends? Do they do not want the courts to give her any more money because she gives it to all of that family? I see why Janet stays away. You'd be like, Janet don't be around much. She probably tired of them wanting to dig in her pockets because none of them have real sustainable jobs. You know, they're dibbling, dabbling, and whatever, but they don't have no real money. What's Jermaine doing? Marlon, Tito, Jackie. Randy up there with Janet. So I guess he said, I got, I'm, I'm good. But he takes care of the kids, the grandkids, the great grandkids. Remember the woman who had the kids by Jermaine and Randy? 
she lived up under Catherine for years, and she had babies by two, two of the men. We well, just walk down the hall and sleep with one, then you come back up and sleep with the other. There's a lot on Catherine Jackson. And I guess BG is like, this This got to stop, y'all. She's got to stop. He said in the statement he wanted her to not have the money because she keeps fighting this battle with the estate. And he thinks she's going to lose. But I think the underlying is she's given so much money to the family so they can survive, so they can live, so they can have homes and cars. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. And there are people who will take advantage of you and lean on you to take care of them. Get a job. Get a job. She's 93. What y'all think gonna happen? Something happened to her. <laughs> think that's why BG is saying, please don't give my grandmother any more money. The Olympics, the opening ceremony is July 26th. Who all likes the Olympics? I love it. I even get withdrawal when it ends. But July 26th is going to be shown on IMAX screens all across the country. It's going to be live from Paris, France. Of course, NBC and Peacock is having it. But big ceremony for the opening of the Summer Olympics. Freaknik is streaming on Hulu. A lot of people are talking about it. There are many people who are relieved that... They didn't show me. There are some people like, uh, a lot of people are criticizing it, and I'll probably be able to talk more about it on Monday, where they're saying the sexual assaults were, were just gl gleamed over. A freak that could not happen today. Not today. Not that kind of party. Not today. And I don't know if they really meant to gleam over it. Uncle Luke is already talking about part another one coming out. Um, how to put it? A lot of people were doing things they probably didn't think were wrong. But you look at it today and you're like, that's why it couldn't happen today. You know, today everybody filming everything. But back then... It wasn't. But Hulu, it is streaming. Freaknik is streaming on Hulu. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is playing in theaters. It looks really good. The first one came out 40 years ago. I know they had the ones in between, but this has the regular Ghostbusters in it. And it looks funny and exciting and thrilling and... I was always a Ghostbusters fan of the original. It looks like it is really good. Hit the notification button. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There's so much I got to say. Leave a comment. Because I need to read the comments. I don't want to hear from you. Particularly with this Katherine Jackson, you know, thing. Elder abuse is real. I'm telling you, they think that you're older and people can just do whatever you want or that the gravy train is going to just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. But leave your comments. Hulu, uh, Freaknik, leave your comments. There is a weekend edition that is up. So check it out. It's Ultra Fancy. David Gaines puts it together. And we have a segment called Ask Auntie where you can ask me you could just ask questions and we just go and, and we just answer them. It's like cute not knowing and now you know. Thanks for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.